Are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups yeah. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities as we saw in Kansas and right from the boys, Stand back and stand by. Amidst the ever-present landscape of white supremacy, a pressing question looms for African Americans. Should African Americans continue fighting for justice in the United States? Or is it time to return to Africa? This question isn't about fear, but about confronting a harsh reality. Despite the indelible contributions of African Americans to the fabric of America, from cultural and scientific advancements to economic and political development, their efforts have often been overshadowed by the persistent undercurrent of white supremacy. Your people already got your reparations. Your reparations, your reparations came in the form of a man named Barack Obama. <laughs> my advice to you, my advice to you, if you don't like it here in America, planes leave every hour from camp to airport, go back to Africa. Go back to Africa. African Americans have been instrumental in shaping the nation, yet find themselves in a paradoxical situation. They have served with honor in the U.S. military, defending the liberties of even those who deny them equal rights. This complex dynamic with the United States underscores a form of loyalty interwoven with a continuous fight for recognition and equity. For African Americans, their daily reality mirrors a war zone, where the persistent struggle for equality and justice inflicts psychological wounds akin to those experienced in physical combat. This enduring struggle is a vivid embodiment of PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, a condition typically associated with war veterans. Yet for African Americans their war is at home in their own nation. A battle that never ends. One that rages 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. African Americans carry the intergenerational trauma of slavery, segregation, and ongoing racial violence. Across the ocean, Africans have their own harrowing tales of colonization and neocolonization. The violent stripping away of autonomy and resources has left similar scars, leading to widespread PTSD on a continental scale. Stockholm Syndrome, where hostages feel empathy and loyalty to their captors, manifest distinctly in these communities. It's a survival mechanism, a psychological response to long-term abuse and entrapment. For African Americans, Stockholm Syndrome manifests in the complex paradox of fiercely advocating for and contributing to a country that frequently fails to reciprocate that commitment. This is evident in their service in the military, enduring generations of political exploitation and poverty and their significant contributions to a society that persistently marginalizes them. Yet, in a striking display of this psychological phenomenon, African Americans often find themselves defending the very individuals and structures that uphold their oppression, often even prioritizing the interests of white people over their own community's needs. In Africa, this syndrome translates into upholding neocolonial influences, often subconsciously clinging to the remnants of colonial rule, despite its evident harm. Are you enjoying this video? Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Let's continue. The path to healing for both Africans and African Americans begins with recognition and understanding of these deep psychological wounds. While the thought of Africa often conjures images of conflict and hardship, the reality is a continent pulsing with potential, diversity, and growth. It is not without its challenges, but it presents a canvas where African Americans can contribute to building societies that reflect their ideals and where their service benefits their people directly. In the grand expanse of history, the story of African Americans is one of resilience and enduring strength. But the question remains, where will the next chapter unfold? in the United States or on the soil of their ancestors? The answer is as complex as each individual person, but for those seeking healing. Africa awaits. Please leave a comment.
We'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, like the video and subscribe to this channel to watch more videos about African and African-American geopolitics.